Assalamu alaikum, my brothers and sisters. Leave your loved ones with loving words. You never know, it may be the last time you've communicated with them. My brothers and sisters, many people have lost loved ones, be it a brother, a sister, a spouse, a child, a parent. Suddenly, they weren't expecting it, but Allah says, when the prescribed time of the Almighty comes for something, nothing will delay it if only but, they, but you knew. So I want to dedicate this video to those who've lost their loved ones and also draw a lesson for those who take their loved ones for granted. If you've lost your loved one suddenly, your parent, your child, maybe your spouse, perhaps both parents, may Allah bless you. May Allah make it easy for you. Honestly, you need to reach out primarily to Allah. He is the only one who can comfort your heart. Nobody on earth will be able to fully understand what you've lost. Allah knows, you know. You know the depth of the relationship. The worst are those who left their loved ones with bad words, with unsettled issues and matters. Don't you agree life is so short? We should have solved our problems. Why did we leave these issues until they passed away? Gosh, I didn't know this person was going to die so soon. And I had outstanding issues. I should have asked them for forgiveness. I should have solved the matter, resolved the problem. But my brothers and sisters, don't worry. Make dua for them, pray for them, their forgiveness, their paradise. Be strong, bear sabr, bear patience. And you know what? Perhaps do a good deed and Allah will, will reward you and pray for the deceased. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant them all goodness and paradise and unite us with them in Jannatul Firdaus. The good news is in a short space of time, we're going to join them too. And when we join them, we will be able to then discuss these outstanding matters. Unfortunately, right now, it's very painful, especially if you've lost a child, subhanAllah. If you've lost a spouse, suddenly they gave you, subhanAllah, eight days. For example, when I say they, I mean the system, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala system. Allah gave you eight days, for example. That was still good enough. You were fortunate. Some suddenly lost their loved ones to heart attacks to murder, to car crashes or any other accidents and they just died, subhanAllah, on the spot. What type of notice did they have? Nothing. But when I say Allah gave you eight days, eight days meaning sometimes you're diagnosed with the virus or some other sickness and you know that this is hectic, it's very serious. I'll give you the example of the coronavirus. We're told the percentage of those who die is very small. I agree, very, very small. But try to say that to those who have lost loved ones. They will tell you, listen, small or not small, one life is very, very precious. So let's not talk about how negligible it may be because it's not. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it easy. So imagine someone's diagnosed COVID and they have a few breathing problems and they're okay and then they get slightly better and then they're, and suddenly they're gone. They're not breathing anymore. And I, I have a youngster who messaged me and say, Sheikh, please bring her back to life. I'm sure you can do that. If Allah could do that for this. And I'm like, hey, don't say things displeasing to Allah. None of us can ever do that. Subhanallah. May Allah grant us ease. But I know the frustration with which the brother was saying this. And I know the disbelief. Oh, wow. Actually died. I can't believe my aunt passed away. Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raji'un. We belong to Allah, all of us. And we're all going to return to him very, very soon. That's what we believe. Whatever Allah gave us, it was always his. Whatever he took away was always his. What changed? The fact that we were given the honor of knowing such a beautiful person and calling them my child for a little while or my spouse for a short time or my parent or my sibling or a relative, whoever it may have been, that honor and privilege was given by Allah for a short time. But that person always belonged to Allah prior to them coming onto the earth and even while they were on earth and after they went back to. Now do you see things? So may Allah make it easy for us. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant a special comfort to those who've lost loved ones. 
especially when suddenly the child went. And like I said, you have to turn to Allah. Yes, I am here and there are so many others whom you could reach out to for a word of comfort. But true comfort can only come from Allah, no one else. My brothers and sisters, then they are the others who may not have lost loved ones, but they take their loved ones for granted. Ask those who have lost their loved ones. They'll tell you, please resolve your matters. Don't be petty. No matter what the matter is, your spouse, solve it. Don't sleep without solving a problem. Have a big heart. Listen to each other. Communicate with each other. Your child, your children, listen to them. Spend time with them. Don't be so hard that they crack. And don't be so lenient that they go astray. But you need to know how to strike a beautiful balance with loving communication and beautiful explanation. And at the same time, don't leave matters outstanding for the next day. They must be resolved before you recline. You don't know if you're going to make it to the next day with your parents. Solve the matter. Solve it. Try your best. I do know that there are some cases where we just have to leave things for the day of judgment. But let those be very, very few. Navigate through your system. Try to look for every way or any way to try and resolve the matter. If really you fail, then you can leave it for the day of judgment. But don't just leave every petty thing for the day of judgment. Someone, you know, stole $20 from you. I will catch you on the day of judgment. Yes, you may want to warn them, tell them, etc. But let go of it. It's okay. Fine. You know, I need to lead, lead a happy life and so on. That's an example of a stranger. But if there is a discrepancy of a little bit of money, a few words here, you know, perhaps spouses have had an issue. Perhaps your in-laws, perhaps a sister-in-law or whoever else it may have been. Have a big heart. Have a big heart. These matters are not worth destroying relationships because of. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us goodness and the ability to resolve our matters. Imagine you lose people. Sometimes we actually say, well, not me, but some people say, <laughs> some people say, I wish that person could die. Actually, death. They may be going to such a beautiful place thereafter. Sometimes when Allah wants to punish someone, he keeps them alive so that they can suffer on earth. Have you thought of that? Have you thought of that? Sometimes Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keeps people alive because he wants them to taste a little bit of what they deserve. I don't want to be from among those. That's why the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, had a beautiful supplication. Oh Allah. Keep me alive for as long as you know that being alive is better for me and take me away when you know that it's better for me to go. Be it today, tomorrow or any day. What a beautiful supplication. Subhanallah Rabbil Alameen. Amazing. Oh Allah, keep me alive for as long as you know it's better for me. And he used to say, oh Allah, make good for me this world where I'm living and make good for me my deen, my faith, which is the main affair and issue of my existence and make good for me the hereafter where I'm definitely going to return. What an amazing supplication. So remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, كُلُّ نَفْسٍ ذَائِقَةُ الْمَوْتِ وَإِنَّمَا تُوَفَّوْنَ أُجُورَكُمْ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ Every single soul shall taste death and you will definitely receive the recompense, the rewards of your deeds on the day of judgment. As for this world, you may be tested and you will be tested by losing loved ones. You will lose loved ones at some point. They lose you or you lose them. Have you thought of it? In some families, people say, well, we haven't yet lost anyone very close to us. Well, it has to start at some point. Get ready for it. Because either you have to go, they have to go. Someone has to go. Be prepared for that day. Yes, we may shed a tear, we will be sad, we will miss them, but we pray for them and we pray for ourselves and we ask the Almighty to unite us in the hereafter. Keep doing good after the demise of one of your relatives uh, or your loved one. And inshallah, if you keep doing good and you pray for them and you improve yourself as a person, the Almighty has guaranteed that he will unite you with your loved ones in the hereafter. وَالَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَاتَّبَعَتْهُمْ ذُرِّيَّتُهُمْ بِإِيمَانِ أَلْحَقُنَا بِهِمْ ذُرِّيَّتَهُمْ Allah says, those who believe, we will unite them with their families, with their progenies, etc. Subhanallah. 
if their families and their progenies have also done good deeds, being good people, they have had that iman that is required in order to get Jannatul Firdaus and paradise. Allah says, we will unite them. Don't worry, no stress. Amazing. You know, we are so insignificant, my brothers, my sisters, and we become so frightened of death. We should be concerned about death, but don't be frightened. You will go to a better place. Your relatives have gone to a better place. They've gone to the Lord who is the most merciful, the most kind, the most forgiving, the most loving, the most amazing, the most compassionate, the most merciful. What else do you want? Subhanallah Rabbil Alameen. So I really ask Allah to make it easy for those who've lost loved ones and also to make it easy for those who are going to lose loved ones. And I want to say, do not take your loved ones for granted. Don't. Your family members, your friends, whoever it may be, don't take them for granted. Any day, any moment could be their last moment. You could get news right now that you've lost the person closest to your heart. Your biggest regret would be if you left matters unresolved. And for that reason, I'm telling you, please resolve your matters. Make sure you've done the right thing and make sure you've been kind, you've sacrificed Go the extra mile to resolve matters and problems. It's not worth keeping them going. And remember, life is not all about yourself. It's about everyone. It's about us as humankind. It's about us primarily. Togetherness. It's about sacrificing for people. That's why you get joy, true joy, when you actually give that joy to someone else. Reach out to them. Try to make them happy. Ultimately, it's from Allah, but you can try to make people happy. Try to bring a smile to the faces of people. See how you feel. And I want to end off by saying, the minute you are the cause of the grief of someone else, that is the moment you have entered territory that's going to take you to failure. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us. Many people think that I'm going to fix this person and fix that person, not realizing they are being fixed by Allah. If you think you're fixing an ex-spouse or whoever it may be, and you want to be harsh and hard and you want to try and make life difficult for them, in actual fact, you're fixing yourself. Allah is watching and he's waiting. When the time is right, the strike comes, it's going to be too late. Let's not let that be the case. Life is too short. We don't know when we're going to go. We don't know when they're going to go. Sometimes you grow older and you've lost the person and you don't have the opportunity to apologize. What do you do then? May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us belief and faith that is strong. And may Allah make us from those who understand and realize. Jazakumullah khaira qulu qawli hadha wa sallallahu wa sallam wa baraka ala nabiyyina Muhammadin wa alihi wa sallim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.